Renac Smart Wall Box Installation Guide Smart Energy for Better Life Three Starting Methods App RFID Card Plug and Charge Fast Mode Fast Mode supports three measuring methods Time, Energy, and Cost PV Mode Work intelligently with PV system or ESS, improve self-use rate. Off-peak mode, time of use application, valley power intelligent charging. Dynamic load balance function. Ensure the fuse will not trip. Compatible with all branded EVs. The Renac Smart Wall Box can charge vehicles using surplus energy from photovoltaic or photovoltaic storage systems, resulting in 100% green charging. This enhances both self-generation and self-consumption rates. Single Phase Wall Box Installation 1.1. Unpack the wall box package and confirm the accessories. Please unpack the wall box package and check whether any units are damaged or parts are missing. Overview of the whole production includes Charging gun Status light Swipe card area Switch 1.2 Wiring for the wall box Please prepare the cable of the corresponding size according to the user manual. Insert the AC cable through the cable gland and housing. Strip the wire insulation by 8 to 15 mm after removing the cable jacket by 40 mm. Firmly insert conductors into the corresponding terminals, tighten screws to 0.8 Nm torque, and pull cables to ensure a secure installation. Connectors for single phase are labeled with the respective phases. Assemble the housing, terminal block, and cable gland using a torque of 4 Nm to 5 Nm. Ensure perfect engagement between the rib of the terminal block and the groove on the housing until a click is heard or felt. 1.3 CT or meter communication connection To keep track of the power being imported and exported from the grid in real time, it is necessary to use CTs or meters. CTs are standard and included in the package. The single phase wall box is equipped with one CT. The CT direction should point towards the load for accurate measurement. The communication interface of the CT or meter gathers electric energy signals from the grid. The CT involves sampling via a built-in current transformer. The meter obtains power and energy signals through RS for 85 communication. The definition of pins is on the screen. Single phase wall box only use the CT1 port, please note the CT connection. Meters are optional. We recommend the Eastron SDM230 for single phase. 1.4. Power on wall box. Please install the charger on the wall. Here is a demonstration of the wall box after its installation. Turn on the AC breaker, then press the charger switch to activate the system. 3 phase wall box installation. 2.1. Unpack the wall box package and confirm the accessories. Please unpack the wall box package and check whether any units are damaged or parts are missing. Overview of the whole production includes Charging gun Status light Swipe card area Switch 2.2 Wiring for the wall box Please prepare the cable of the corresponding size according to the user manual. Insert the AC cable through the cable gland and housing. Strip the wire insulation by 8 to 15 mm after removing the cable jacket by 40 mm. Firmly insert conductors into the corresponding terminals, tighten screws to 0.8 Nm torque, and pull cables to ensure a secure installation. Connectors for single phase are labeled with the respective phases. Assemble the housing, terminal block, and cable gland using a torque of 4 Nm to 5 Nm. Ensure perfect engagement between the rib of the terminal block and the groove on the housing until a click is heard or felt. 2.3. CT or meter communication connection. To keep track of the power being imported and exported from the grid in real time, it is necessary to use CTs or meters. CTs are standard and included in the package. The three-phase wall box comes with three CTs. The CT direction should point towards the load for accurate measurement. 
the communication interface of the CT or meter gathers electric energy signals from the grid. The CT involves sampling via a built-in current transformer. The meter obtains power and energy signals through RS for 8.5 communication. The definition of pins is on the screen. Three-phase wall box equipped with three CTs as standard. Meters are optional. We recommend the SDM630 for three-phase meters. 2.4. Power on wall box. Please install the charger on the wall. Here is a demonstration of the wall box after its installation. Turn on the AC breaker, then press the charger switch to activate the system. App Setup Operation Guide. There are two ways to download Renaxec. A. Download and install the Renaxec mobile app by scanning the QR code. B. Download a Renaxec from the Apple Store or Google Play. At the Power Station, on the Add Station page, fill in the corresponding information and click Submit at the bottom to add a new Power Station. If you do not need to associate the installer account, you can ignore the installer item. Items marked with asterisk are required. Add the equipment. Click on the Power Station to enter the equipment page. Click plus and scan the QR code, serial number, on the device label to add a device. Wi-Fi configuration. Open the Renaxec on the homepage and click More. Click Wi-Fi setting, G2. The router's SSID will be automatically displayed on the Wi-Fi setting interface. If not, please manually type in the router's SSID. Enter the router's password and press the button five times on the right side of the wall box to enter the distribution network, then click Start. Remember that the BLE name is Renaxec by default and can't be changed. Remark A. The mobile phone must have Bluetooth functionality. B. The Bluetooth must be version 4.0 or higher. C. Wi-Fi setting through Bluetooth. It only supports 2.4 GHz wireless signals but doesn't support 5.0 GHz. Basic settings. There are three charging authorization methods, app, RFID card, and plug and play. Users who choose RFID card authorization mode need to scan the QR code on the RFID card to bind it. Max output current refers to the maximum current that the wall box can supply to the load. Protect temperature refers to the maximum temperature the wall box cannot exceed. Users can also set the allowed charging period for the wall box. Wiring method of external current sampling refers to the wiring method of external current sampling, CT, default, meter, or inverter. Click plus to add a setting for the start and end time of charging and the price of electricity for off-peak mode. Set these parameters and click save to start charging. Fast mode. Appointment settings can be based on time, energy, and cost. Time-based. Users can set the target charging time and the start time by clicking time. Energy-based. Users can set the target charging capacity, kilowatt hour, and the start time by clicking energy. Cost-based. Users can set the target budget and the start time by clicking cost. Remark, if users turn on plug and play, they will not be able to set the start time. PV mode. In PV mode, users can choose whether to obtain power from the grid. Turn off the function of importing power from the grid. The EV will be charged dynamically only by surplus solar power when the surplus solar power is more significant than the minimum operation power. When surplus solar power is lower than the minimum operation power, the wall box will stop charging. Turn on the function of importing power from the grid. Users can set the power and charging time before the wall box works. When the surplus solar power is less than the minimum operation power of the wall box, the EV will use electricity from the grid to charge. Manual boost mode. Users can set the start and end times. In this mode, the wall box uses photovoltaic and grid electricity to charge at the maximum current within the specified period. Even if power is extracted from the grid, it will return to normal PV linkage mode later. It is useful if users arrive home with an almost empty battery and want to charge the EV quickly. Smart Boost Mode Set a preset deadline and the required amount of charging. When there is photovoltaic power, use photovoltaic charging. When there is no photovoltaic power and the deadline is not yet reached, start charging from the power grid, allowing users to obtain the required electricity before the deadline. It's useful to guarantee an EV's battery capacity before a set time when solar energy is insufficient. Off-peak mode. Once the off-peak mode is enabled, 
the wall box will automatically charge the EV when it's off-peak to reduce the electricity bill. Users can also customize their low-rate charging time on the off-peak mode page. Users need to manually input the charging rates on the settings page. Choose the off-peak electricity price, and the system will charge at maximum power during this period. Otherwise, charge at minimum. Smart Boost Mode It's useful to guarantee an EV's battery capacity before a set time when the off-peak time is not long enough. While users enable the Smart Boost Mode and set pickup time and preset electricity, the wall box will charge the EV with a target kilowatt hour determined by a set time. It may draw power from the grid to ensure the EV's battery capacity when the off-peak time is insufficient. Smart Load Balance By clicking on the Load Balancing menu, we can enable the dynamic load balance function and set the balance power according to your requirements. In cooperation with CT, the current output is detected in real-time to adjust the output current of the wall box accordingly.